Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Gamer and this video I'm going to quickly go through what I got for Christmas because my family have been very generous this year and I thought you know it'd be a good video. I'm going to be trying to get a video out every week, trying again, touch word, uh, but this is a way of sort of getting a video out for you. Uh, a bit of a rambly one, a bit unusual for me, but here goes. So first of all, I got Rangers of Shadow Deep Across the Wastes. Now this is the second part of an adventure. Uh, I got the first part, but I've never actually had the second part, so my wife bought me this. Uh, looking forward to playing this actually, because Rangers of Shadow Deep is one of my favorite games, solo or cooperative. Uh, and my wife is starting to play the game and getting very interested in it. So yeah, it's gonna be fun to be able to play through a few games with her. Uh, Joseph A. McCulloch, you know, he's a legend in the uh, <laughs> rules writing thing now with, you know, all of his games. So, yeah, really enjoyed this. And I got it through War Games Drive Through, Drive Through War Games. You know the one. Print on demand, and you get, you know, PDFs or actual books. So, I've got an actual book. So, next we got uh, some. Gaslands dice, though these are for my daughter and I to play Gaslands because I think she's going to enjoy that game because she quite liked uh, X-Wing, but you know, cars going over terrain, you know, it's a bit more, a bit more interesting backgrounds, etc. So I think she's going to enjoy playing that game. So yeah, some dice for that, that was brilliant. Always good to get something that I can play with my daughters. So speaking of playing with my daughters, now they absolutely love Firefly. And I've painted up, but yet to play the uh, core box game for this. So it's Firefly Adventures, Brigands and Browncoats. So this is uh, the Wanted Fugitives crew expansion set. So basically adding two more characters to your crew. So you've got Simon and River. And, you know, it's going to be brilliant. I, I can see my daughters wanting to play River, of course, because, you know, she's rather kick-ass. And you get, like, four miniatures and the boards to play and a couple of extra cards and a mission. So that's going to be fun. And I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I, I, that's something I'm going to have to do this year is actually play a few more of these games, which I've got but yet to play. So, I also got from my wife, uh, Firefly Adventures, The Respectable Folk, the crew expansion set. So, this is giving you Inara and Shepherd book. Uh, so, the Preacher and the Companion. Uh, the sort of two sides of the uh, same coin type thing they were. And, yeah, uh, again, really going to be fun. Uh, looking forward to playing these things and adding to, to my painting pile. So speaking of painting pile, my brother bought me some Army Painter Speed Paint Mega Set. So uh, I have actually used one of these. I've used the red one on a miniature recently, and they seem to cover really nicely, actually. And I'm not sure if it's one coat and done, but yeah, the red went on really well. Uh, and apparently you get a free brush with it. So that's going to be really good because I murder my brushes viciously. So yeah, that's the paint set that's really cool that'll help me in my painting so this year i want to paint around 250 miniatures so uh 217 done last year so you know just a little step up again i don't want to go to one a day which i did do the year before because that was during lockdown and that was a lot easier but uh yeah this should help me so we've got goblin slays by oathmark uh don't know the game that well i know it's uh Part of the North Star and Osprey, you know, as it says there, uh, branding. But I love their miniatures. It's like the um, crews and the soldier sets and the wizard sets and the knoll sets. They're all brilliant quality. And you get 30 of these goblin slaves for, what was it, £22. So, you know is a lot you know less than one pound per miniature so really like the idea of that and goblins i love goblins and orcs i'm going to use them especially for uh alternatives for the knolls that are meant to be in rangers of shadow deep because i think orcs and goblins make more interesting creatures than knolls 
but yeah, looking forward to painting those, and that will help towards my goal of painting the 250 miniatures this year. So there's 30 in there. And then there's 30 in here. So these are goblin infantry. So these are a bit more heavily armed people. You know, they've got uh, their shields and they've actually got proper melee weapons. Well, the slaves have got more just clothes, you know, robes almost, or uh, tattered robes and like slings and cudgels and stuff like that. These are a bit more like professional looking. You know, they've got um, shields, they've got melee weapons, they've got a few bows. I'd probably mix up them a bit, so the slave goblins, I'll probably put a few of the bows on them, because although the slave goblins have got slings, not many games I play have slings as a weapon, so, you know, putting bows on them instead would make more sense. So that'll be like at least 60 miniatures that I need to paint up. I don't know why my family like torture me by giving me more things to paint, but they seem to like that. And then on my sort of request to them, I noticed a rather larger game come up for sale. So it was an auction and it started off at something like 50 quid or something. And I managed to win it. So they kindly paid for it. So I won it, but they paid for it. Uh, this is Gotham City Knights Batman game. Uh, and... Yeah, it looks amazing, to be honest. The the uh, cover art and what have you is absolutely gorgeous. And the miniatures are really good. So, of course, with this game, you get two boxes. So, you get the good guys and the bad guys. So, that I think there's something like 150 miniatures in here. So, some of them have been painted by the previous owner. And the previous owner actually painted them really well. So I probably won't have to repaint any of them. But say there are, say, 100 unpainted miniatures here. And we've got the 60 goblins. So that was 160 there. So hopefully I should be able to get to my 250 miniature uh, goal that I've set myself this year. So there will be unboxings for these items later on, but I just wanted to quickly show you uh, what I managed to get. I'm a very lucky man and I'm very grateful to my family. There is one more thing, maybe not quite so uh, hobby related, but you might be interested in it anyway. And it's another present actually from my brother. Yes, it's a knight's helmet. A really rather cool looking Knight Templar Crusader style helmet. And it's really, it's a beautifully made thing. Yeah, you know, it's it's probably not, um, you know, uh, fully armoured. You know, it wouldn't take an axe to the head while wearing it. But it's a solid old piece, you know. If you can hear that, that is hard and solid. So yeah, it's really nice and it's going to look really good with my swords. You know, my Kurgan sword and my um, the Witcher sword that I have set up with it. So yeah, not exactly hobby related, but you know, brilliant anyway. And I thought it deserved a show and I thought maybe you guys might like the look of it. So that's me for this week. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and the new year is being good to you so far. So until next time, goodbye from me, Welsh Miniature Ball Gamer. <laughs>